Hello everybody, Sniper2222 here, and um, today I thought I'd do a video on Stormworks. Um, I know it's not going to be a sinking um, ship video today, but I thought I'd do a video on how to build an advanced engine, because, uh, you know, a lot of new people are joining the game, and uh, this is for the people that are looking to get into the game and instantly go in advanced mode. So, um, basically, um, what I've done so far, is I've built a base plate. This is all this is. Now, building advanced engines are really simple, very, very simple indeed. And I'm just going to show you the method that I use the most. There are a lot more complicated ways that you could do it, but I'm just going to show you a simple method. So, the first thing you want to do is you go into, into your inventory and you're going to want to scroll down until you find the diesel engine. I'm going to use the big one in this case. So there we go, we got our big engine, big um, diesel engine. Now thankfully, um, the devs have you know, named it so you can see everything that it needs, exhaust there. And then you got like power, which is where you would put your propellers onto. So basically what you're going to want to do um, for coolant, you're going to want to get a pipe, just like this. So coolant out and coolant in, and I'm guessing you know what that is, but I'm but you know yeah um coolant goes in here and coolant comes out here it's that's that's that then you got the fuel which is diesel obviously and then you got exhaust so let's do the exhaust and air first of all um just like this i don't have mirror mode on so it's just going to have to be like this then you have to put fluid ports um on there and these are just pipes right here pipe straight and uh, I use pipe angle as well now you're going to want air as well air is quite important without air and exhaust your engine will not work without you know fuel and everything your engine won't work as well so anyway let's do coolant so uh, let's just go down you, now I like wiring my pipes down towards the ground because the coolant's always already high up, so just wire it down. You can wire it anywhere obviously. Then you do corner or angle piece again. Just like that, and then you want to get a radiator. Now if I was building a boat I would just put a pump straight into the uh floor of the boat and then I'd just use cool seawater as my cooling which is very effective but in this case this is just going to be on land so we're going to need a radiator so let me just rad there it is so this will do um, as long as we don't over rev our engine this should just be fine be just fine we just got to rotate it okay there we go and we're gonna hook this up now, normally I would use a flow valve, but obviously you don't need to use that. There we go. So that's our coolant air system, which is right here. Now I'm going to just quickly you know, color code, because color coding is good. And then that's why. And then you got coolant right here. Okay. So you got coolant system down here. Which is the white one, and then you got the exhaust. Um, last one to do is fuel. Now fuel is easy to do. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go a darkish red, and then we're gonna do tank. And you see in here you got fluid tank, um, meat large, fluid tank medium, and fluid tank small. And they're all the same. They're just you know different sizes. So we're gonna use a large, and we're gonna just put it right here. And we're going to grab a pipe like this. Now, you would n uh, normally I would just attach this straight, you know, to the engine, but because I've done the coolant system, coolant system, and stuff like this, I can't. But anyway, so here we are, all our systems are now done. So if we were to hook this up to a button or whatever and try to start it, it should start now. Very simple and um, yeah. And then we'll also hook it up to a propeller and 
we'll make this orange and then we'll just do pro and then we grab the small propeller and there we go now that's the basic functions of the engine it will now run so let's get into the you know the sort of log logic side of things now what we're gonna want is what I normally use is a push button push is good because if you use toggle the engine start will never stop so we just wanna we're gonna grab wanna grab here this this one we're gonna wanna wire it up to the diesel on off just like that and then we can go into select and we can click here and we can just name it engine start there we go and we're also going to want a battery so bat now if we put a battery there if we go into logic again and click the electric tab over here and then if we grab this and because we're in advanced mode everything needs power and you know all this stuff and then we're also going to want two gauges or dials so and uh, one of them is going to be engine RPS which is revs per second and then we're going to want engine temp now you don't need these two dials but they're helpful to see what's going on on your engine now you want to grab the temp one and you see up here if you grab it engine temperature same with this one or with the RPS rotations per second there we go and then we just want to make sure everything's powered and that is basically it and we're also going to want throttle leather I forgot throttle leather okay it doesn't really matter what way it's facing and then throttle but, and again the how you make name it and stuff is just you go into the select and then you can click on it and you can select what you want to do and you want to wire this the engine throttle which we just made onto the throttle for the engine now if we were to spawn this in you see it doesn't look the best but that's not let's just put up the oh no I forgot to wire that alright so we've got to go into here do that now it should work so we want to put the throttle up a little bit you see um, so you can hover over it and you can see all its engine status now obviously it's not looking the best but that's not really a worry so you see you got our exhaust doing work and we also got our intake you see we got our propeller here I would not recommend you run into it because you will die so we've put it to max you see it's fine Engine RPS is uh, sticking around 20, and same with uh, temp, it's about 15. So that's perfect. You see, it's all at 100 now. Now, you could add clutches and stuff, and that's more complicated. And, um, you know, I could do another video on that, and I might. But this is basically how you build an advanced engine. And um, that's basically all I have for you now. There's obviously, as I said, a lot more complicated systems, but. It's what I normally do for my system or for my engines. I put them um, all on this, you know, throttle lever. And then if you were to put the throttle to zero, the engine will slowly start to die. Just like that. You see you got the battery here. And uh, that's basically it for an advanced engine. For a simple advanced engine. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, subscribe, like, favourite, comment, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Sniper out.